Welcome back, country travelers, to the Coast Mountain Backcountry Report. I'm Jeff Van Driel, and we're out here in the Spearhead Range, skiing around, enjoying some beautiful weather. As you may be able to hear, there's a bit of wind coming down slope from behind me, and we're experiencing quite variable conditions. Everything from uh, nice winter powder to uh, breakable crust. We're still seeing evidence of the uh, big avalanche cycle that happened during the storm last week. But we're not really seeing too much uh, new avalanche activity. That being said, we're still keeping an eye out for isolated wind slabs and any shallow areas where we might be able to trigger a crust facet combo. We're seeing on average about 40 centimeters of new snow on top of the crust, especially here in the lower elevations, and up higher up to a meter is sitting on top of the crust. Of note too, we are starting to see with these clear cold conditions, surface hoar starting to form on the surface. We're seeing surface hoar anywhere from 2 to 5 millimeters depending on where you are, typically in more sheltered areas. The south aspects, especially the steeper ones, are already getting some, uh, some melt freeze effects, so we are experiencing crusts on some of the steeper south aspects as well. And because of the sun on the steeper south aspects, I, we can expect to see the surface hoar to be gone there just because of the warm temperatures on those steeper slopes. While conditions are variable, uh, they are aspect and elevation dependent. We are finding quite good skiing on a number of aspects, but primarily on the north aspects. This is where we saw a big avalanche cycle. So definitely have uh, a lot more confidence on slopes uh, that are, have obvious clues that the slope has already slid. We're seeing uh, old crown lines and avalanche debris below. Obviously just watch out for the avalanche debris that's hiding just under the snow if you do ski through it. Uh, it's quite hard and icy right now. While we're experiencing variable conditions, some sort of punchy wind slab here and there, uh, all in all, skiing is not bad. Well, thanks again, guys, for checking into the Coast Mountain Backcountry Report. Don't forget, as always, before you head out, to check in with Avalanche Canada for their Avalanche Bulletin or WhistlerBlackHome.com for their Avalanche Advisory for the Whistler Black Home Backcountry. <laughs>